Tennessee football just got its first spring scrimmage done with over at Neyland Stadium. I'm Ryan Sylvia, this is Noah Taylor. We're with VolReport.com and the Rivals Network. And after Tennessee got that scrimmage done, Josh Heupel met with the media. We were able to talk to him and find out his thoughts on exactly what he observed over there at the scrimmage. First things first, some injury news. Cam Selden projected to be running back two for the Vols this season. He's gonna miss the rest of spring. Shoulder injury, Josh Heupel said he had surgery on it. They'll see what his availability is going forward, but he's gonna miss spring ball. What that does mean is some other running backs got their chance to step up and maybe catch the coach's eyes. What were your thoughts on what Heupel said about that group? Yeah, it, it's tough losing Cam Selden because it's a guy that, you know, like you said, that number two spot, you know, coach, coaching staff seemed pleased with him. Obviously the size, limited carries last year, but played well in the in the Citrus Bowl uh, when Jalen Wright uh, obviously declared early. But um, Hypo talked a little bit about what Khalifa Keith is bringing to that group right now, what Deshaun Bishop's bringing to that group. Deshaun obviously missing, you know, most of last season with an injury, I believe, in fall camp. Um, but two guys that, that have been in the program now for a year, I think that helps. I think one thing that kind of stuck out was was Heupel was very complimentary of, of Khalifa Keith's physical physical ability, his mm -hmm. his ability, and you know, kind of his want to to make contact with guys, which is kind of what you want in a running back. Um, I think they're in, in good shape there right now. Obviously, it's thin. You'd love to have Cam Selden, but if you if it's limited to just this spring that he's out, I think that could be good for Tennessee and, and maybe give those two guys a, a lot more uh, reps. But obviously, Peyton Lewis, another guy that's yeah. here that that's missing time as well. So it's very thin, but you got some good leadership there with Dylan Sampson. Again, Heupel talked about what he's been able to bring to that group too as a leader. Uh, but I think if you're going to lose Cam Selden right now, hopefully it'll just be for the spring. Yeah, definitely. Someone people were really excited for to see what he could do. Versatile guy can catch passes out of the backfield, kind of get split out into the slot a little bit if needed. So Tennessee definitely hopes he's back, but then for the moment, feel like they're in a pretty good spot overall uh, going forward, though, at the running back position. Obviously, everyone wants to hear about Nico Yamalayava, though. Josh Heupel was asked about kind of how he controlled the offense, the, the new starter, one start under his belt uh, against Iowa in the Citrus Bowl, but now he's got this full off season of being the starter. How is he going to do it? And Josh seemed pretty uh, happy with, with what he was able to do out there. Uh, just, just talked about how he was in control of the offense, controlled the offensive line, things you want to see from a starter. And for a guy that's just a redshirt freshman that's only started in one game and been kind of that reliever in blowouts and other moments, really positive to hear that he's growing in that aspect. One of the biggest transitions that quarterbacks have to make from high school to college is being that kind of uh, quarterback, uh, that center fielder, the, the guy that's kind of making sure everything's going how it needs to be. So good to hear that Nico's progressing uh, as he should be, but big play he made down the sideline. Josh Hyper revealed. Tell us about it. Yeah, it was kind of funny because when, when Hypel gets up there, it's kind of your generic opening statement, not, not giving away too many details about what happened out there today, but the first, I feel like the first guy he kind of singled out was Mike Matthews that, mm -hmm. you know, obviously one of the, the big additions in that, in that class, five-star receiver, um, heard a lot of good things about so far in spring, you know, just with the coaches coming to the podium. We, we obviously had the young receivers last week talking to them. Um, so it seems like he's been as advertised so mm -hmm. far. Uh, Josh Heupel, again, just kind of pointing him out right away, saying he made a big play down the sideline. Uh, something you're, you're probably glad to hear because that wide receiver room, I think is, there's some opportunities for young guys to play yeah. with there, especially right now in the spring with a guy like Brew McCoy out. Um, or, or being limited anyway, coming off of an injury. But uh, if you're excited about uh, Mac, Mike Matthews coming in, that's got to make you really happy to hear. I think it's interesting to see how much he really gets in the fold this year because it's yeah. a really crowded ride yeah. receiver room with a lot of talent. You bring in guys like Chris Brazel. You, you still have Brew McCoy, who, who's recovering right. from injury, isn't going through spring practice, but obviously projected to be a starter. Dante Thornton's back, Chaz Nimrod, Caleb Webb. There's a lot of guys out there uh, on the, the outside receiver positions, uh, X and Z. So where does Mike Matthews exactly fit in? Well, he seems like he's so talented. <laughs> they're going to have to try to find a spot for yeah. him some way, somehow. So that'll be something to look out for as the year progresses. But on the other side of the ball, sticking it with kind of the young guys and pressing, Josh Heupel talked a lot about how those young defensive backs did, did a really good job today. Looking at two names in particular, Boo Carter, talking about the, the kind of big names in that yeah. recruiting <laughs> class. It's Mike Matthews 1A, Boo Carter 1B, if you want to look at it like that. Four star on Rivals.com, Boo Carter athlete questions is he gonna play wide receiver is he gonna play defensive back right now he's getting his start at star for Tennessee uh, on the defensive side of the ball and Josh Heupel is quick to drop his name as a guy that did really well and then also John Slaughter another younger defensive back he uh, did some good things out there Josh Heupel said was enough to get his name dropped in a press conference which is always a good sign for, for a younger defensive back so 
Josh Heupel seemed pretty pleased up there, I think, overall. I think that's yeah. fair to say that, that there wasn't uh, any frustration necessarily, at least that he was showing. I'm sure there's aspects that, that he didn't like and wants to improve on. But when he was talking to the media for about eight minutes up there, he, he seemed pretty pleased with what he saw today. Right after this pro day coming up, guys like Joe Milton, Jalen Wright go down the list, are going to work out, perform in front of scouts, meet with scouts, meet with the media, and, and kind of get their NFL draft hope started. Some of them already did it at the NFL Combine, but this is a, a chance to kind of do it on your home territory. We'll be there. We'll have information and everything you need from that over at ballreport.com. Links to everything you need is in the description. Thank you for watching.